When Barack Obama said that whistleblowers would not be prosecuted, Edward Snowden blew the whistle by exposing NSA's illegal spying on Americans. And now he's running for his life because Obama's out to get him. Edward, you shouldn't have taken the bait. When Obama gets around to telling us, if you like your church, you can keep your church. Don't take the bait. When Ambassador Stevens was told, don't worry, Hillary Clinton will provide all the security you need in Benghazi, he shouldn't have taken the bait. When Hillary gets around to telling us that we should support the Muslim Brotherhood because they want peace, you would have to be a complete idiot to take that bait. Oh man, Chris Ann Hall says that we shouldn't call people names. Okay, when Hillary finally admits her allegiance to the world's largest terrorist organization and says the USA must support them, you'd have to be a complete Democrat to take that bait. You know, that sounds just as bad. Oh yeah, well. When John Boehner says that he's a conservative for smaller government, less government spending, and more government accountability, that is not a stand-up comedy routine. Don't take the bait. He has declared war on those of us who do stand for those things. Bait is what's used in traps, and frankly, I'm tired of the enemies of freedom and the enemies of faith baiting Americans with lies, baiting them into division and hatred according to skin color or gender or religion. Well, guess what Proverbs tells us? Whoever leads good people along an evil path will fall into their own trap. And that comes from the ultimate authority in the universe. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching. And America, bless God again.